Hello everyone and welcome back to Agree to Disagree. Today, me and Chris will be reviewing Despicable Me 2. Now, Chris, were you a fan of the first one? I actually never saw the first one, so I didn't really know what to be expecting. Okay. And I went into it. I saw the first one. It was okay. I, I never really loved it or anything like that, but I didn't hate it. So I was going into this just with moderate expectations, and I'd say I was pleasantly surprised. It was cute, I'll say that. Um, I was laughing a lot, mainly due to the minions and stuff like that. I mean, the minions, man. everyone, it's like, it's known that people go to see the movies for the minions at this point, because they're just so funny. Like, you it's never so know what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I liked the actual story, though. I was very much into the story the entire time. Uh, the characters. It, it, it had more of a story than I was expecting it to have. I, I got to say that much. Um, the story was good. I mean, it was very, you know, fun, cookie cutter. Oh, there's there's a love story and there's someone else trying to mess it up and just oh look, it's very cliche in a way. But aside from put that aside, it was it was good for what it was. Yeah, I mean, you really got nothing new here, but it's it was still fun ride. It was still a very fun ride to go through. And like you said, the minions I thought were the best part of the movie. And uh, I think the the, the the minions and yeah, I say the the, the youngest daughter Agnes, Agnes is that her name? Yeah. Yep. She, the, you never know what was going to come out of her mouth, so that was always good too. <laughs> yeah. Between the, min the, the minions and her, I had a very good time. Um, so what, what did you think of the villain? The villain, I I liked when he, f when he actually came into the picture, because for a while you don't know who the villain actually is. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, was, I had fun, because I was throwing out names, trying to think who, who this could be, because it, it was kind of like a mystery for a little while. And... Uh, yeah, I'll say that I liked it. I definitely liked the villain. I mean, it was nothing, like I said earlier, new, but it, it was fun. Yeah, yeah I, I, I thought the villain was good. And then, uh, what, I thought, what's her face? Kristen Wiig, uh, Lucy. She I thought perfect. she's one of my favorite characters. I'm not a big Kristen Wiig fan when she's in movies. She kind of gets on my nerves. Maybe it's because I couldn't see her in this one, but... I, I thought she did that character perfect. I thought she was a perfect fit for that character. Yeah, I, I think that she she had very good voice acting in it. I mean, Steve Carell was great. I mean, you don't know it's him, but I mean, you know it's exactly. him. Exactly. You know it's him, but it doesn't, like, really stay there. Like, he's Gru for you. You know, he's not Steve Carell. Mm -hmm. He's Gru. Uh, what about Ken Jeong? Yeah, and he was very underused. I know. <laughs> I said that as well. I would like to see more Ken Jeong. Uh, so, so on the on the acting standpoint, I think Kristen Wiig was probably the best. Aside, I mean, no, like people know him from the first one. He was good in the first one. I mean, I don't know know the first one, but like I've seen parts of it, and from what I've seen, he's good. So everyone knew he was gonna be fine. But then Kristen Wiig was the newcomer, and she I thought she was great. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought the acting was fine. Uh, Kristen Wiig fit the character perfect uh but everything which is it was a like you said cute movie that's really a perfect it, way to it, it was it was definitely very good for kids to go to um yeah th there were a couple nods in there for adults to get like a i know oh, yeah. there's yeah. a little yeah. alien there was like an alien, alien reference there are a few euphemisms there too mm -hmm. so yeah, i i, 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 I give i give it a thumbs up yeah me too uh there is word, uh, supposedly there will be a Minions movie in 2014. What do you think about that? I love the Minions. I thought they were the best part of the movie. But it's good that they're supporting, not just all about them. I feel like if it's all about them, it's like, okay, overkill. I, I think so, too. I would prefer Despicable Me 3, because I also I like the character of Gru, and I feel there's a lot of stories they could tell with him and the family. And yeah, the minions I think, I think, I think more they, they, they set it up very well to have another one kind of to see where it goes from here. Yeah. Um. But 
but the main thing for me would be funny, but I don't know if it would be worth the price of admission if it's just them just doing ridiculous crap like they do in the movies. Because the movies is about the movie, then it's like, oh, the minions do this stuff. And the minions do that. Oh, the minions make people laugh, and it's like every two seconds, oh, this this thing happens, and it was like, okay, you, you, you've killed the minions, you've killed the best part of Despicable Me. I I would prefer Despicable Me three. I, I I like the story, I like the characters, so I, I want to keep seeing them going. I don't want them to kind of just push out Gru and just throw the minions center stage. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm, I don't think they'll like get rid of Gru completely. I think it'll focus. I think it, the minions will focus more on them. But I mean, only time will tell. Maybe it will turn out this Despicable Me three, and that's just like something that's kind of in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would love Despicable Me three. I enjoyed Despicable Me two probably more than the first one, uh, and that's basically wrapping it up for me. That I, I did enjoy Despicable Me two very much. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah, it. For and, I really enjoyed this Big Me too, and I never saw the first one, and I had no problem with the second one. So you don't need to see the first one. So that's good because I was worried because I hated seeing sequels without seeing the first one. I was like, oh, I'm not going to know anything. And it was like, yeah, like yeah. a couple references, but it was like little references that you would get from watching the original trailers. So Which I you don't like. have to go into knowing anything. It, exactly. I like when they do that because like it opens it to a whole new audience. Like not, yeah. oh, It's not going to be only people who saw the first one. So. But- they still Great blew up the stuff from the first one, which I liked, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was good. It was a fun time. Um, not not really much bad to say. It's a kid's movie, so you can't bad mouth it for saying, oh, it's a terrible movie. They didn't have very good this, that, and the other thing. It's for kids, and then people are You can even still laugh appreciate stupid. being older, so. Yeah, like which is why it's, it's, it's for all ages. Okay. Uh, I... That's all I have to say about it. Are you? Mm. you have anything else to say? Or? That's pretty much it. I'd recommend it. Um, yeah. So Despicable Me Too was definitely a winner. So. All right. Yeah. So everyone <laughs> watching, do you agree with us? Did you see Despicable Me Too? Did you like it? Did you like it as much as us? Did you dislike it? Let us know down below. Subscribe because it takes. Damn, one more thing. One more thing. You can let us know. Would you rather have a Despicable Me three or, or with minions? minions movie? Yeah, that's that's good. Down below, Despicable I, Me three. I, 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 think, I think we should do a poll question on the Facebook page, Joe. How's that sound? That sounds like a winner right there, Chris. <laughs> Our first poll. Right. You heard it here. So go vote. We'll have the poll down there, and let's see if we can just agree to disagree. <laughs>